Hi Year 2, here we go again with some maths. This is Week 4, Lesson 4. Did you do your times table rock stars? Hope so. Then you're going to need your bean bag or your cuddly toys, whatever you're using, or even your tiddlywink game. But today we're going to be subtracting. Today you need to throw two toys and you need to make a takeaway sum. Remember you have to put the biggest number first. Get going, play with a partner, can you beat their score? We've been measuring the weight of things over the last few days but today we're going to be thinking about measuring capacity. Now that just means we're measuring things that we can pour, different types of liquids and see how much containers can hold. Again, we're going to start off measuring with non-standard units, things like egg cups. So you might need an egg cup. Have you got your egg cups at the ready? Now this could get messy and you could get wet. So you might prefer to move to the kitchen like I've done. You could even go up into the bathroom and do it. Do your measuring in the bath. <laughs> So you need an egg cup and some different containers that we can pour water into and they've got to be bigger or hold more water than one egg cup. If you haven't got any egg cups, something like this would do. It's off the top of my uh, washing liquid. Any sort of lid would do, like this. Just as long as it's smaller or will hold less than the containers. So your first job is to decide what you're measuring with. Are you seeing how many egg cupfuls of water these can hold? Or how many lids? You choose and let's get measuring. All right, then. here's one egg cup. Here's a jug of water. I'm going to keep filling my egg cup. Like I said, it can get messy. <laughs> Whoa. I'm going to use a funnel to help me, so I try don't spill as much. Let's see how much my cactus glass will hold. I pour it in. Not full yet, it can hold more than one egg cup full. So that was one egg cup full. Two, three, spilling a bit, but don't worry. Four. Now that took seven egg cupfuls of water. Having done that, how many cupfuls, egg cupfuls, do you think this would hold? What could it contain? More than seven or less than seven? egg cupfuls. Estimate this one. Where's my dog Jake look? And my cup. How many egg cupfuls of water do you think I could fit in here? Now you need to get your containers, get filling them up, get measuring and see if you can put them in order from the ones that hold the least amount of water to the most amount of water. Mine came out in that order. Things can get a bit interesting though if you use containers of different shapes. Sometimes you get quite a surprise. Now I need to mop up. <laughs> oh, I really miss doing that at school with you. That's such a fun lesson. Hope you had fun at home. Once you've dried out, you need to have a look at this. It should be in your pack, but there's also a copy in the emergency folder. Just like with the weight, you can display capacities in a bar graph or a bar chart like this. This time though, somebody's been measuring different teapots to see how many egg cups of water or tea or whatever each teapot could hold. Have a good look at it. Try to work out how much, how many egg cups each teapot can hold. Look at the scale of the vertical axis though. Again, we're not counting in ones. 
How much do you think teapot C can hold? That's a trickier one. And teapot E. Also in your pack, you should find this. You need that bar chart or block graph to help you answer these questions and you can write the answers on your squared paper, please. Finally, boys, you need the Enrich website again. The link is in the Google folder. And this will help you get measuring capacity as well. There's some fun activities down the side again too. Have fun. See you tomorrow.